Good morning. What Good are morning. You? That's Kenny. He's our tour guide for the day. And he actually owns this restaurant here where we're meeting him. The Eagles Nesting Restaurant and Lodge. We actually ate here last night. We had a fabulous dinner. He and his wife cooked us and just incredible home cooking. We just love those experiences in the Bahamas. And here we are today doing something totally different. So it's gonna be an awesome day and I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Today we're going bone fishing on the flats of Long Island. The Bahamas offer some of the best bone fishing in the world. But before we head out to the flats, we gotta practice our cast. Are you getting a few practice swings in? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. So fly fishing is one of these things where everyone you talk to that does it says that it's addicting. But it takes a lot of time and patience of which I've never just, I've never taken the time to You patience? Yeah, right. Patience? Oh. We forgot to stop at the store and buy some before we came here. Mr. Kenny, you got to help this man. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to show you right now, bro. <laughs> Take out the more line. Take out the more line. Take out more line? Take out more line, yes. Yeah, tighten it up. Tighten it up? Tighten it up a bit, yes. That's way too slack. See? Holy cow. Well, you make it look, <laughs> you make it look easy. Oh my gosh. Kenny's been fly fishing as long as we've been alive. So he's a total expert. Keep it, keep it tip up. Tip higher. I'll give you a hand talk. Ready, out of one. Okay. No, two. <laughs> <laughs> you make that look so easy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, one. Are you going back too far? The rod is going back too far. Stop it. Huh? Stop. No, too far. One. Uh, yeah. One. Try your best. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Then it was my turn, and clearly I look like I'm waving a flag. Hey, I did it. How's it going? It's not. It's not? No, it's not. Why not? What's wrong? I spent my lesson filming you and now I don't really know what to do. <laughs> Mastering the cast is something that requires a lot of patience and is something neither Cole nor I have an overabundance of. So we'll see how this goes. How far are we going? Uh, about maybe three minutes away. Can I, can I throw the drone up? Yes! All right, let's do that. You look like you're ready to rob the flat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to do it, man. Ready to do it. Stop this right here first before we go too far over. Okay, so this area here, this is called uh, the pigeon flats. Or uh, typically in bone fishing, what you do, you always put the sun to your back. Always. I'm but gonna. This helps visually. Yes. It's it not just that. Uh, it keeps the bone fish from actually like sputting at the the, the glasses, because when the sun ray hit the glass, it gives a reflection. Mm. So the bonefish sees it and scoots off. Uh, another thing, uh, what you're gonna uh, find out today, you always, uh, your guide will always find if you have a left hand, right hand. So uh, what he does, he uh, allow the wind to come over your powerful hand, not your weak hand. 
You see? So you always got to wade against the, the sun this way. The water we're going to be wading in the day is probably uh, six, seven inches. You're going to see a lot tailing fish. So uh, it's not like blind casting, everything is side casting. Uh, you're using an eight, uh, eight weight rod. Uh, that um, fly you have on is actually too big right now. So I got a whole rigmarole here of flies and I don't know what I need and what I don't need. Okay, so I'm going to show you something. All right. All these flies right here. Yeah. They're too, too big. Way too big, right? Way too big. Okay. This is like a pink head, a gotcha, an, uh, unweighted. Okay. Too big. See, they have the weed, the weed guard. Too, yep. too big. It's okay. way too big. But because of the grass uh, structure we're on, yep. they're not going to see that. Okay. Uh, because of the grass structure. So I'm going to show you something what we gonna, you can use. It's called a puff. It's a puff. Okay. They love that. See the size difference? Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. You see that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Bonefish, they're not stupid, you know. They see that uh, just pulling. They say, hey, man, that's, that stuff is artificial. Okay, so, no, no let me show you. Okay. So, okay, take this out. Yeah, take, take most of the other from. Nice and easy. Okay. Bonefish are also known as torpedoes of the flats. They're known as the ghost of the flats. And they're said to be the most powerful fish pound for pound in the ocean. I've never caught one. I've seen many of them. In fact, if you go back and see our Georgetown video, you'll see lots of bonefish just right up on the beach. Oh, oh shit. Yes. Yeah, I think so too. I don't want to panic. First bonefish. <laughs> Look at that. These things are so cool. There he goes. <laughs> Thank you for playing. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> nice work, guys. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Come on. <laughs> you make it look easy. That's how you do it. <laughs> wow. it's, it's like hunting. Yeah. Instead of a gun or a rifle, you have a rod. Yep. Instead of you hunting like a deer or elk, you're just hunting the bonefish. Yep. So it's basically the same thing. They can hear you. From the minute we uh, reach the flat, they already know we're here. Oh, wow. You know, so you can't be like splashing, like screaming, you know. So I need, you're telling me I need to be quiet? Yes, <laughs> basically. I got it. <laughs> yes. Basically, I need to be stealthy because bonefish can be spooked so easily.
This is as close to becoming a creeper as I've ever been. Thank you to Waves RX for sponsoring this video. We use many of their products on Adventure Cruise, like this bilge cleaner that works to clean and degrease stinky bilges. Use code ADVENTUREWRX for 20% off. I'll put the links in the description below. Now I know all of you at home are watching this and you're thinking, wow, that looks so easy. Well, Kenny's been doing this for 30 years and his cast is so smooth like butter. Like when I'm watching him, I'm like, that looks so easy. I'll be able to do it the exact same way. Wrong. <laughs> that 30 years of experience has made him be able to cast so smoothly, but that's the art of the bone fishing, since bone fishing is sight casting, you literally have to see the fish to be able to catch the fish. So you spot them and then you cast toward them. And that cast is very, very important. If your fly hits the water either in front or behind you before you're ready to cast it out, those fish are gone. Speaking of. I know, he's, he's, a, he's very stealthy. He's not even walking fast, but somehow he gets in front of you really fast. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. Fish on! Beginner's luck. Yeah. Hey, what you got? Fish on! Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. Come on. They're swimming to you. Wow. Uh, let's see. Why well, do you want to run take down a first man? Ah, uh, okay. First man. Yep. That's what you do. Once you want to run, take down a crane. You did great. All that work for nothing. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking I had him almost all the way in. <laughs> now why were you calling him Sheila? Oh, that's my babies. I have a fat name for all of my babes. <laughs> uh oh. No, no, he's good. He's good. He's Sheila. resting. He's just resting. Don't watch that. Yeah, put up a hard fight. <laughs> Woohoo! He's, he's catching himself a nice guy. Two bones for the day. That was good. That, that little guy put up a fight. Every time I reeled him in, run back out. And when he starts to run, you have to let go of, what am I letting go of? The reel? Not, not the reel, well. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. The handle? The yeah, reel? the handle, the reel. Yeah, I have to let go of the reel because otherwise you run the risk of breaking it. And that wouldn't be good. How do you feel? Great! That was fun! <laughs> I didn't cast, so I didn't do the hardest part. I did the easy part. Shh! Don't tell anybody that. Y'all didn't see that. So when we come to these flats, right? So we, we, we know that the low tide today was at 11 o'clock, uh -huh. a little bit after 11. And so we, we got here before, uh -huh. we walked around, and now we're kind of 
the, the tide is, is low, low, uh -huh. and it's starting to come back in now a little yeah, bit, right? Yeah. So what exactly, like, what are we looking for? How do you spot the, the ghost of the flats? Uh, the tide is so low, all you're looking for now is tails. Right. You know, you can see tails or you can just see the fish. You can see movements. No matter how far it's out, you can see just the movement of the fish. Yeah. Yeah, man. You gotta think like a fish, man. <laughs> you know, you gotta think like a fish. All right. You know, if, it, if you're gonna come fish these fish, you gotta think like, you gotta think uh, their pattern, their movement, the way they act, the way they think. So, so I gotta think like a fish, but I gotta cast like Kenny. <laughs> so. <Yeah. laughs> Not only does Kenny know how to throw a fly rod, but he also knows how to spot the, the fish. But more importantly, he knows how to walk across this flat. It's keeping up with him. I'm like, this is a workout. Jeez. What a workout. My hips like are sore. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny put us on two bonefish this morning. Unfortunately, we've got a massive storm system coming in. So we're heading back to the dock. But what a great time this was. And I have learned so much from Kenny here. They call him Eagle Eye. Right? Come on. <laughs> Eagle Eye is his nickname on the island. And, well, we know why. He can spot the fish like an eagle. So, with that, big thank you to Kenny. And we're going to head in. So, we'll catch you back at the dock. Hey babe, what'd you learn today? <laughs> I learned how to catch bonefish. And I am excited to test my knowledge in the coming weeks. You didn't answer the question right though. What did you learn? To catch bonefish. No, 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 no. You have to think like a fish <laughs> and cast like Kenny. <laughs> think like a fish and cast like Kenny. That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> now that we got that straight, <laughs> let's get out of here before we get rained on. <laughs>